Hello everyone. I'm so happy you're here today. We are going to be making this accordion fold, but it's a gift card holder too. So here's the front and then here's the inside. Hey campers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make the accordion fold with a gift card holder. So this is the front and then you open it up and it looks like that. Isn't it cute? So I also made this Bermuda Bay with the Costa Cabana version. Isn't it pretty? So we're going to make this one with the uh, Mango Melody and the Daffodil, but we're going to swap the colors around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with the measurements. We're going to start with, this is the inside, so let's start with the front. So we're going to use the Daffodil Delight. These are both cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. You need two of those. And then the inside is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And then this front piece of the Mango Melody is cut at three and three quarter by five. And then you're gonna need three pieces of the basic white. And these are all cut at two and a half by four. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. So we're gonna score this Mango Melody piece and we're gonna score it on the 11 inch side across the top. We're gonna score it first at two and three quarter. Then slide it down to five and a half. Then we're going to flip it to the opposite end and score it again at two and three quarter. Then on one of your ends, you're going to cut at a diagonal. So just line that two and three quarter inch score line right here. Hopefully, let me fold it so you can see it better. So right here, we're going to cut at an angle from that score line down to the edge of the cardstock. And you're just going to do this panel because this is what's going to hold your gift card. I'm just going to cut it right about there. That looks good. So that's going to make your accordion fold with your gift card holder. Okay, so now we're going to fold it. So you're first going to fold it in half, your cardstock. Let me get my bone folder. You're going to want to burnish these edges really good. So first fold it in half. Then you're going to fold it back. Burnish that edge. And then fold this up just like that. Okay, so this is going to make your accordion fold for the inside of the card. All right, now let's go ahead and do some stamping. We're going to stamp on two of the panels of your basic white. And let me show you the stamp sets we're using. So this is the Tasteful Touches. We're going to stamp just saying hello. This is going to be for the front. And then this is a brand new stamp set, Flowers of Friendship. We're going to stamp thank you for everything. And then a little card, big thanks for the inside. And then also this large flower. And it has a coordinating punch, which we're also going to use today. So you can get this in a bundle with the stamp set and the punch and save 10%. So we're going to use the Memento ink today. And we're going to get all our stamps out. Okay, so for the inside part of our card, we're going to go ahead and stamp this thank you for everything. And I'm just going to stamp this on one of the two and a half by four inch panels. I'm just going to stamp it right in the center. And then for the next panel, we're going to stamp little card, big thanks. Isn't that cute? Love that. So we're just going to stamp this in the center. And then we're going to grab another piece of scrap. I have this piece of scrap basic white. We're going to go ahead and stamp this just saying hello. Okay. And then we're going to stamp our flowers. So let me show you what I did for that. I'm going to use a piece of four inch by 11 inch piece of basic white. And all I did is I stamped, you're going to need, I think it's eight flowers for this card. So what I did is I just went ahead and used this piece of basic white and I'm going to stamp the flower eight times across this basic white. The next, I'm going to go ahead and color the flowers. Now, I wanted to show you here, I'm going to be using the Retired Mango Melody and my daffodil, the one that I used on the original card. Let me show you that again. Here's the flowers that I used with the Daffodil Delight, the combo, the light and the dark. So you can see here the daffodil, but my daffodil marker on the light is 
running out. So I want to show you this in case this happens to you. So hopefully you can see that tip of my marker is almost white. So that is like running out. Okay, so I didn't want to use that because it is running out. And I feel like I'm struggling to try to get the color on there. So we're going to use the Retired Mango Melody. So you can see the comparison between the two colors, all right? So let me zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to color then these flowers. Okay, so I'm going to take the Dark Mango Melody. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in the little highlights of this flower right in the center. And then I'm going to color the center in with the dark. Even though my rhinestone that I'm going to add to that center is going to cover that up pretty much, I still want to color it in. Okay, and then I'm going to take the light Mango Melody. So I colored all the flowers in exactly the same way, okay? Then we're going to take our punch, and we're going to punch out all the flowers. Okay, so I went ahead and did all the flowers already, so let me grab those. So here's all my flowers. Aren't they pretty? And then we're going to put some rhinestones on those. Then I have my take your pick tool. I'm going to use the largest of the rhinestones. Those fit really nicely in the center of these flowers. I use the layering circle dies and I use these two circles right here. One's the straight edge and I use that to cut out the greeting. Just saying hello. Right, and then I ran that through the, the die cut machine. Then I cut another one that's slightly bigger with the Daffodil Delight cardstock. So let me show you that. So I use that with the scallop. So then these two layer together, just like that for the front. Okay, now let's bring in our card again. We're going to go ahead and assemble that. I have my two pieces of Daffodil. And I'm going to bring in my accordion piece. First, we're going to use the liquid glue. And I'm going to go ahead and put this around the edge of the pocket part of the card. We're going to put that together first with the inside. Remember, you don't want to put glue at the top because our gift card is going to go in here. So let me show you. So your gift card is going to slide in here. Okay? So you want to make sure you keep that without any glue. So we're going to close that up. We're going to flip it over. And I'm going to take my daffodil and I'm going to set that right in the center of the card. And then just hold that for a couple seconds so that it adheres down really nicely. So you want to make sure that your card can slide into this pocket, which it does. So then we're going to go ahead and close up our accordion part. We're going to put liquid glue on this end over here. Then we're going to grab our other piece of daffodil. I'm just going to keep my fingernail holding that down. We're going to take our other second piece of our daffodil and we're going to line those two up with the base of the daffodil and then this top piece. Make sure all the edges line up to form your card base. And then you can take a block, like I could take my block and just set that on there to hold it in place. Okay, so we're going to let that set to dry. Then we're going to take our Mango Melody piece. This is the three and three quarter by five inch piece. We're going to layer all our layers together now for the front of the card. So I'm putting dimensionals on the back of three of the flowers for the front and then also on the back of the greeting. We're going to put the flower on first, one at the top and one towards the bottom. Then we're going to take our greeting, just saying hello. I'm going to just slide that right under there. And then take our third flower and just pop that up over on the top right. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're going to flip this over. We're going to put more dimensionals, one on each of the corners. And we're going to put this on the front of the card. 
So now see, you can see how the card is going to open up like that. Isn't that fun? All right, and then we're going to put this on the front. So this one is going to go first over here. So let's go ahead and put our inserts in. Okay, this plain one is going to go on the second panel. And this piece will be for signing of the card. And then this one, little card, big thanks, is going to go on the third panel. Right about here. And then our first one, thank you for everything, it's going to go on the first panel. Okay, then we have these extra flowers. So I'm going to put two on dimensionals, and then the rest we're going to put on with the stamp and seal. Because I want to actually have this card close really nice and not be so bulky. So we're going to put one of our flowers down here. And I'm going to take the stamp and seal, put some adhesive on that. This one's going to go at the top, right there. And this one is going to go down here, right there. Then these two are going to get adhesive and they're going to go down here in the bottom corner. Isn't that beautiful? So easy, right? Such a cute little card. And it's a gift card holder, so you can put your gift card right up here in the corner. Love that. And it fits into a regular size envelope too. Okay, so let me show you the other ones again. So now this is the other one that's the opposite. So now you can see the colors, how different they look. So this is the Daffodil Delight, and then this is the Mango Melody one that we just made. Okay, so this is the Mango Melody with the base instead of the Daffodil, which is the one we made today. And this is the inside. Now this one with the Costa Cabana and the Bermuda Bay, I didn't even color in the flowers. So all I did was stamp the flowers with the Bermuda Bay, and that's beautiful too. So you can color the flowers or you can leave them plain and just stamp them in the color that coordinates with the cardstock. So cute. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. Also, I'll have all the items listed down below. Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. And then also, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.